Yeah, hi, welcome to my first speedrunning video. This is my PB of 2055, achieved on the 19th of January 2021. Um, the first two chapters don't have anything interesting, so I'm just gonna talk over it. Uh, this video is gonna be kind of laggy at some points, it's not a straight recording. I post recorded my demo file, I'm definitely going to now start recording my rounds that I'm in the top 300 because I want to have videos of my achievement. Uh, you, could have, uh, you could see in chapter 1 I've had a kind of okay bunny hop, uh, chapter Oh, chapter zero. Uh, a one is also going smooth, so there's not much yet to talk about. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the buttons are not part of this test. What followed here made me really happy during the run because you can see I bunny hop twice, jump down and grab the cam on the first try, QCE and out of the chamber usually not goes down as quickly for me. With it, you can create your own portal. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. The beginning of 023 went really good, apart from this little bump where I could not get into the portal. But luckily I made that time uh, back again when I did not uh, jump on the stairs and get stuck there. Now you can see me catch that cube mid-air, which saves about two seconds from the jumping down strategy. Also really happy that that worked out. And the next chamber is without a loading screen. 05 is right in the same cell. And there you have to do two cube throws, which kind of mess me over from now and then. So what's happening here, I do a smooth bunny hop for my, for my liking. And the first throw works out, this cube goes through, and the second throw works as well. That saved about 10 seconds to my usual time in this room, because um, in general at least one of the two misses, and that means I have to jump down, put it on, loses a lot of time. We will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. So now 0607 is what really uh, solidified this run as a PB for me. Even though I do the slow strat of jumping in, I got it as early as possible. And now in 07, I had a really good alignment from the beginning. Please be careful. You can see the portal hit and in the first jump I make the fling across the room. That's also something I usually take two or three flings to get down. So now it was clear that I'm gonna keep this run. If I have a bad 0708, I skip, but with one of them going great, I usually run through. And now you can see I did a 08 wall jump on my first try, which meant starting from this point, my heart went haywire, hoping that everything works out. Even though I'm learning portal peak here, 
I decided it's much safer to do it like that because I was on a good pace already and I did not want to mess this up by fucking up the portal peak or something like that. In an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Chamber 10 is the first one that really fucks me over. The portal stands right there. I screw that up twice or even three times. Uh, you can see me reloading my quick save at that point. That one's going to go bad as well and now I finally get it. Okay. Apparently I fucked up four times and decided to keep the run. Impressive. But at a small condolence for me, that jump worked out perfect at the first try because usually I do not get this down and even with two tries it's way faster for me than to uh, do the whole jumping strat that you're supposed to do in this level. Eleven twelve went real smooth. You can see me grab the portal gun on the second jump there. The second jump went so far that I could place myself perfectly on the button and nearly jump in without swimming. And uh, that was a huge time save. I think I had minus two seconds from this room alone. Also now in 12 you can see me try the strafe jump to skip the second platform. Didn't work out this time but I uh, got enough practice to get back to the back of the strat rather quickly. So that jump didn't work out. Luckily the height is enough so now I can place the cube and finish this chapter also in an awesome time. Line 13 you can see me uh, doing not the cube throw but jumping on the button with the cube. It's a bit slower but I usually time myself by the voice lines and you can hear Gladys say the pass out line right when I enter the elevator. And on my previous attempts the pass out line came way before and I went into the elevator at haptic souls. So I was uh, okay. Uh, here you can see me do the easy strat because I was on such a good pace I did not dare to do the uh, quick portal fling let alone the reporter because I thought if I fuck it up here I can restart and I was on great pace. So this chamber, chamber 15, was a bad chamber in my previous PB and you will see that I do not do it that good here either but it's still way way faster than my last try. You can see me miss that cycle now you see me go through the fizzler too early so two big big time losses there. And just to add insult to injury this jump doesn't work out for two attempts as well. Doesn't work number one because I've shot too close and the second time I missed the portal peak but luckily at the third try it worked and now you can see me screw up this portal stand here that one works and now I move in the wrong direction and now I decided I'm probably going to restart because I could not see the ceiling luckily there was a sliver of ceiling there allowing me to do the jump first try and go out of this chamber with minus 27 overall and I think minus 25 uh, for the chamber. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a 
Now this chamber worked out semi-good. Um, the strats all worked out quite well, but you can see me do bad movement at some points, like grabbing that turret too late. That portal is quite good, but now you can see me jump way too far in front of that turret. That's a big time loss. And I'm way too hesitant dropping the group with the cubes all the time. So now this jump worked out better. Uh, got stuck on that turret, so all in all that like half a second here, half there. The first two in this room go down easily and the last turret that was a really close call. If I did not reshoot that portal, I could have scrapped the run because I did not save after the, the cutscene, so to speak, where GLaDOS talks about why this is the wrong chamber. The vital apparatus scans will deliver a weighted companion cube in 3, 2, 1. Now everyone's favorite chamber was a dream. I grabbed the cube twice really quick for my, uh, for my liking. I go, have gone through this channel and the first run, which is great, uh, both allowing me to save quite a lot of time. Uh, you'll see me do the, po uh, the cube stack camera on top of cube and in probably the slowest way possible because I first placed the cube and then grab the camera but still this was a gold time in this chamber for me mm, i can do 17 kind of good but never did it as quickly in a run that really really helped out and you'll hear glados say the has to be euthanized line and i think the cube goes in the incinerator right when she, she starts saying uh, euthanized which is also a great pace for that last part for me. As you've seen, that was a lie. I've probably thrown two guns, uh, two runs around in my head. But still, this was a great pace I came out with, further minus. 18 usually takes me a lot of tries and I was really surprised by this uh, quick run. The peak worked out first try as well as the portal fling. And with these two things, I knew this chain was going good. Hitting that blue one also meant a lot. So cam on first try, that was confirmed. So now I had every of the difficult tricks done all in one round. So I knew it's going to work out. Only question was, would the door be open long enough? I missed that portal, but still get it done in the last second. So that works out quite great. Uh, here I do align myself with the corner. It's a bit slower than just jumping, but it allows us to better portal funnel. And I sometimes get misaligned on this juggling section and fall off the platforms and that hurts my time way too bad the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions for more information please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar So 19, I did not want to screw up anything. I did not go for the port fling to accelerate myself. I just went for the peaks and I even fall down on the second peak. But luckily I had a quick save right before and could get back into there. Here again, I listened to Gladys' voice lines to determine how fast I am. And you'll uh, hear her talk about Congratulations, the test where we pretended to murder you when I enter chamber 09 again. And that's great, great pace. I usually have it somewhere within this pipe, but her saying it only after I've nearly finished the um, second occurring of 09, I knew uh, once again, great time for the chamber. chamber. Here it is, congratulations. 
Um, here I kind of screw up, I placed the portal the wrong way around and did not know where I was. Lost me probably a second there. Um, once again, this alignment also not the greatest, but the jump worked on the fourth or fifth portal, which was uh, okay. So I came out here with a net time loss, but still in the minus 20 or 30 for the run. Going right through, this portal peak worked like a charm, didn't it? Yes. Um, really great. Um, also, this fling down here worked out perfectly. I know not everyone does this. I turn around in this portal just so I don't have screwy camera. Uh, it's preference. Here, also, the first portal went through the pistons, which is kind of nice. Uh, but here I've gotten disorientated. I thought I was already at the next pub. Here as well, I should not have looked around for so long. I mean, I know what I have to do. I should have just remembered that I'm here now. I've gone down the shoot with minus one point something for the concurrent chamber. For the third room down there, I've uh, kind of modified the strat from the guidebook. I shoot my portal way in the back just to make sure the turret does not attack me. Uh, now that one worked out really nicely. Not only did I not hit the turret on the, uh, on the fall, I also got this fling first try. Uh, so now I was only at 17.0 something. And that's once again great timing at least for me. Um, um, I, on the other hand, now here, I fucked myself over by pressing E too many times, uh, slamming the door right in my face. But it worked out, the turret stood great, sadly missed the first turret cycle, so I had to wait for 3 to 4 seconds here. If I've gotten that, it would have saved a lot of time. Also, this strafing makes the turret just slower. Um, this cube jump worked out great. I don't know why, the, why I was so obsessed with that orange turtle, a tur uh, portal, so lost a second there. Yeah, but that navigation was smooth, so now I'm in E02. The pace is showing me I'm on a 2, I think 58, or 2058 pace, something like that. So just short of the time I was trying to beat, I was trying to beat 2056 because uh, another streamer I watched on Twitch just got that and I was pity like that, I just wanted to beat him. So yeah, luckily that jump worked out first try, that could have cost me the run as well. The navigation through the corridor here is also kind of smooth, missed the shot not once. That shot was missed but replaced, so I realized I missed, which does not usually happen. This portal I checked like four times because in the run before I was on 2040 pace and misplaced that portal and it cost me basically the entire fight because I could not uh, get it back. I placed it again then the blue one went out and it's, it was just a big fight. So I was a bit worried but it worked out. I heard the explosion so now I placed my blue portal, my orange portal and checked that I'm probably aligned because this part as well I've lost so many runs right here because I placed the portal a bit too far to the left or to the right or I was standing a bit too far to the left or the right and could not uh, get the turret to target me again. Okay, so now GLaDOS uh, talks a bit about neurotoxin, I have to wait, and as soon as the turret comes up, I see that everything is working out. So, the turret comes up, targets me directly, and I knew this is the run. Uh, this part, uh, also, I have already uh, shot the core way to find the corner once. Only two portals to get it in. I was fine with that. Replace that to not repeat history. And the other course went swimmingly as well. Uh, I've even gotten up there before the cube. Should not have gotten stuck on that railing. 
probably cost me half a second. So there's still a lot of optimization. The, the small bad movement strats and also the few chambers that went horrible. I'm pretty sure if I correct all of that, I should be able to get a sub 20. My sum of best is 1955 right now. So there goes the last uh, personality core. And as it broke, that was time. Here the run starts again. But that was basically it. On screen you should see a screenshot of my live split because I could not get it in. I could get it in but not with the live timings because the run has already happened. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my first top 300 speed run and uh, best of luck, have a good day. Also, now that I'm in editing, I see that not every timing I talked about was quite accurate. Um, I did not have as big a time loss as I remembered. I've just looked at the split table there. But you still can see 10, 11, 12 kind of screwed me over, got me from my negative 11 into the pluses. So with that remedied, I should be able to make hell of a run. Now for real, have a good one. Bye bye.